Matt Snyder, CBS Sports, here to talk about the trade deadline in Major League Baseball. And wow, what a furious 24 hours. Really, what a furious last few weeks in trade activity. Some of the teams on the winning end, I thought, from what we saw the last few weeks, Cubs, White Sox, including a deal they did together. Yankees, again, including a deal they did with the White Sox. I liked what the Royals did as they're going for it probably one last time with this nucleus together. But most of all, the winner, I thought, was the Dodgers. Didn't look like they were going to do much until the last minute, and then they pulled off a trade. They got the couple lefties in Tony Singrani and Tony Watson. They needed those guys for the back end of the bullpen as lefties. But then the big move, you Darvish. I think the change of scenery is going to help. He found out that he was tipping pitches. He should be able to fix that. Then they're going to look to go into the playoffs with a one-two punch of Clayton Kershaw and Hugh Darvish in front of guys like Alex Wood and Rich Hill. That looks really good for the Dodgers. On the losing end, some teams like like the Padres holding Brad Hand. Uh, the Orioles not really sure what they were doing. The Red Sox, they pretty well got beat out by the Yankees and things aren't going well for them. But the biggest loser, I thought, in total contrast to the Dodgers, was the Astros. They're still going to make the playoffs. No question about that, they're going to win the AL West. That's a big deal. But they did not add a frontline starting pitcher. The only person they added was Francisco Liriano, whose ERA is over five this year. Now you're looking at Dallas Keuchel, who's been hurt. Lance McCullers is hurt again, and he's had a terrible July. Then you're looking at guys like Colin McHugh, Mike Fires. What kind of playoff uh, rotation are the Astros going to be able to put together? It does not look great. So the Astros are my biggest loser, while the Dodgers are my biggest winner.